I want to talk to you about an aspect of your life that uh, has always been written about somewhat uh, secretly, which you write about very openly. And we talked about the fact that you were married six times and to men who were very weak, mostly. But one man who was very strong was a man you didn't marry. And that was Joe Kennedy. Mm -hmm. You write for the first time openly that he was your lover. Tell me about it. Well, he was like a banker. <laughs> he was a man who had, he loved to laugh, had great humor. He was not very sophisticated in so far as knowing the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, there was a certain naivety, I suppose, about him. Like giving me a corsage of orchids, which I wanted to scream about, because that was the, the mental picture of the star in California. Mm. Not all, one orchid. You know, they had to go from here down and trail on the floor. You know, they call it glamour. I hate the word glamour. Joe Kennedy came into your life to finance your movie. Yes. And fell in love with you. Were you in love with him? I can't answer that because I don't know because I was in love with any of the law for You were married when you met Joe yes, Kennedy. And you were in love with your husband. Yes. And you had an affair with Joe Kennedy. Mm -hmm. For how long? Well, the, I, when he came into my life, he, he went out of it and came back. And mm -hmm. you know, now he was always trying to, you know, no matter what happened, there he was. And um, he was obsessed with you. And you were the glamorous actor. And I was something he'd never seen before. It was just like the boys from college. When the moment they got into New York, they were going out with all the actresses. And here was Joe oh, Kennedy. Right. Yes. And had, by the time he met you, eight children. Eight children. Didn't you feel guilty, this married man? Guilty? Eight children? I went through absolute hell. Of course I was guilty. Why then did you keep on? To keep on trying to. You didn't know the man. You say he was a strong man. This man uh, accomplished anything I think he wanted to. And he wanted you. Including putting his son in the White House. Did you know that that was one of his dreams? No, I thought maybe he might have wanted to be president. You went on a trip that seems so bizarre even by today's standards. You and Joe Kennedy went to Europe with Mrs. Joe Kennedy, yes. Rose Kennedy, and her sister. What was that like? The mistress, the husband, the wife, and, I and the sister? And I had a friend with me. It was absolutely madness and crazy, and I said, this can't be, it shouldn't be. I'll come on another book. Please, you can't do that, please. When you say he was obsessed, he was uh, obsessed with me, he was. And you write in the book that Rose Kennedy could not have been more motherly? Darling woman, sweet. And you said that even when you saw him paying great attention to you as he did, she never got upset. Never, apparently. I just couldn't understand it. You said she's either, what was it? You said she's either a better actress than I am, or she's, I have, I wrote a blonde, yeah. What do you think it was? I don't know. But do you think she ever knew about you? I don't know. Does it bother you today to know that Mrs. Kennedy is still alive, that Senator, there are sisters, and that you are now, for the first time, writing about Joe Kennedy and telling the if truth I about your relationship? I had to write about him, because if I hadn't, they would have had my, my adopted boy, his son. Don't you realize why I wrote my book? I never wanted to write my book. And if I did, and I did start it, I said, I want this to be printed after I'm dead, because I don't want to face this thing. The reason I wrote it is because I've seen the books that have been written about celebrities where the author hasn't been within a hundred miles of the person they're writing about. And because the people in the pol when the political thing was coming up, yeah. they were always trying to attach my this poor boy. I, just, that I didn't realize this even when I read the book. You had an adopted son named Joseph. And my father's name was Joseph. The people Parker. have said that this is the illegitimate son of Joe Kennedy? Yes, but the, I didn't, the boy was born in 1922, 
November. We, I never did know whether it was the 31st, the 30th, or the 31st. And you met Joe Kennedy in 1927. Yes. And this is why you wrote the book. Yes. Did anyone in the Kennedy family try to have you not write about him in this book? No, sir. I never had one call. As a matter of fact, I had a letter from Ted sometime twice. I had two letters, never answered them. He wanted me to write something about his father to put in the album or something. For the Why children. didn't you answer? Because what was I going to write? Mm. Hugh, Gloria Swanson may not have heard from anybody in the Kennedy family about her book, but we did. I received this letter from Eunice Kennedy Shriver enclosing a statement she sent to various newspapers. In the interest of fairness, I'll quote from part of it. I can tell you that my mother is totally honest in her conviction that her 45-year marriage to my father was the happiest part of her life. My father shared with her the raising of the children, the creation of a stable and loving home. Between the age of 80 and 90, my mother also wrote her autobiography. It inspired people everywhere. Gloria Swanson's autobiography, written at 80, may make her a popular figure, but what lasting value has her life left us? And that's the letter here. From Eunice Kennedy Shriver. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Barbara. We will be right back.